creating a running totals time series chart. The default behavior of time series chart is to display the totals for each tick on date time axis. But what if we want to see how the value changes over time? For example, we want to see how the number of order for each country grew over time. We can do that using the uh, same line chart element, time series line chart. Here we have a report that has uh, three fields, order ID, to do account, ship date for the time series, and shipped country for the series. First, we will need to sort our data set. To do that, we can use the sort field. We can create a sort field and order ascending on ship country and on shipped date. Second, second thing that we will need is a group. This report has a group already defined. The group is expression is field ship country. You can create a group by right clicking here and press create group and then select whatever you want to the report to be grouped on now all that we have our data set grouped and sorted we will need to create a variable that will do a count of order ids here we have variable one which is of value class java long integer the calculation is set to count and the expression is set to field order id the important thing to note here is the reset type which is set to group one so this val the value of this variable will reset when the group changes. Now let's go to the chart. Let's go to edit chart properties. Here we have the category date. The category is set to field ship date. The series level is the country and set to ship country. Now the measure is set to be the value of the variable one. Since the calculation is done already on the variable one level, we set the calculation here to nothing. One more important thing to add to this chart is to add the connect nulls. You can do that in plot options, line, connect nulls. Default value is false, you will need it to set it to true. We need this because uh, there are no values for some of the dates for some of the groups and we need our, our chart to be continuous okay let's test this chart here you can see how the number of orders changes for each 